What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Throw Show, where we are going to go into a quick rundown of men's and women's javelin and the men's and women's hammer. And we just want to throw out there, we aren't well-versed in the men's and women's javelin, especially we're more so fans. And I would say we're getting better with hammer, uh, mainly because Rudy Winkler is open to talking to us, as is Danny Hall and chilling with Alex Young and doing a podcast with Deanna Price. That's about our yeah. exposure. Um, so we want to go over who are the top guys and who are the top women in the men's and women's javelin, Wim, men's and women's javelin, and then we're going to go into the men's and women's hammer, and I want to throw some predictions out for the hammer. All right. So women's javelin here, we've got Andrzejczyk, uh, Marie Andrzejczyk, and Husong from Germany, uh, Andrzejczyk from Poland. They're the top one and two players and Maggie Malone is actually the number has the number three distance on the year um, she won 66 82 at in Chula and I think she got second at the trials I don't think she won the trials but she Tom Puxis is her coach she should be ready for um, Tokyo so it's gonna be interesting if we can get from the from the women's side uh, an American into the mix there especially I feel like that's been a long time yeah I mean I don't quote me, but I feel like it's not often that we have Americans at the top of the, the world list. So Yeah, I That's agree. Cool. So if we look at that, you know, those top six, um, you got you, uh, yeah, Lou from China, uh, Nicola from the Czech Republic, and then you from China again, and then Muse coming in from Latvia. So there's a lot of different athletes in there. And Liz Gleedel closing out that top 13 from from Canada, you know, she's a real consistent international thrower, and I believe the two-time Olympic champion, Barbara Spotakova, is back again, which I did not realize. Hmm. So she's another one that's just, she's like the Valerie Adams, but a little bit older of women's javelin. So yeah. I think, um, you know, the Polish uh, woman is Easily the favorite, and I think likely going to win it. And then following that up is Husong. But then it's pretty much an open door between third place and tenth place. So it's going to be a good competition. Again, I'm not a javelin expert, but I like it's still exciting. It. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so heading into heading into the men's javelin, it's a pretty similar situation, but it's flip flop with the poles and the Germans here, where you know Johannes Vetter is. I think we Just absolutely dominant. Yeah, eight eight <laughs> competitions over ninety meters. I don't foresee anyone sniffing any one of his throws. Um, you know, is and that a prediction? That's my every prediction. one of his throws is we'll further win. than the next. Yes, that's my prediction. <laughs> um, and Krukowski from from Poland and 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 Walcott uh, still still chilling and doing well there, ranking in the in the top three in the world. So. You know, once we once we break that down and look at the rest of those those men that are in the uh, the top twelve, top fifteen in the world, um, the Indian dude is 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 in there, and he's a younger guy, uh, a high eighty eight you know, or high eighty meter thrower. So it's going to be interesting to see um, where the Indian can can come into play, and even Belarus is starting to 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 create a lot more um, consistent javelin throwers. So I think that. Just looking at this list alone right here, obviously I, I don't think Better is gonna gonna do anything. I would love to see Walcott, who is the 2012 Olympic champion. I think he got third in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Jason, Walcott. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting. Huh? First in 2012. Yeah, I said that. I'm interested to see. I would love to see him get a medal at his third straight Olympics. So that'll be cool. Um, yeah, and I, I, again, it's got, I'm interested to see if Vetter can break the world record. Can Vetter go out, break the world record, and, be, and have that type of season that he's having now that he's essentially Ryan Krauser of, of men's javelin. So, mm -hmm. yeah. here's where I do want to throw out some predictions because we've got Deanna Price as the number one female in the world. Uh, Brooke Anderson's number two, and she competed well at the Olympic trials and was still handling a, um, an ankle injury. So she did not even have her best mark on the year at the Olympic trials and still threw, I want to say, low 78 or high 77. 
Uh, Ladarczyk is in there. Anita from from Poland, and then Gwen Berry sitting at number four in the world, which I think is 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 crazy. Is Kasana Void could have put a little more pressure on on Gwen Berry at the trials, but Gwen Berry came out on top, and she does have almost a 77 meter thrower or throw on the year. So a lot of us, myself included, not that I've discounted her, but almost place her as an afterthought behind Brooke and Deanna. Yeah. So Trevor, what are your predictions here? I mean, I think I have to go with Deanna Price. Yeah. I mean, she's a 2019 world champ and I mean, she's just been, you know, pretty dominant this season. They have, she has, her and, and Brooke have gone back and forth on meets and, and you know, that's where I think, I don't think it's a, it's not at all a set thing. And I think, you know, Lajar check too is gonna, is going to be right up there in the in the running and um but yeah who do you who do you think is going to come away the winner i i mean i i do i'm in agreement i think that price is going to be the winner i'm going to make a prediction that it's going to go price uh ladarchek is going to earn the silver brooke anderson is going to come in at third and i you know uh with rogers from canada i've got a i've got yeah i'd like to see her in that top five i think gwen berry I'd love to see Gwen Berry get fourth or even sneak in for a medal there. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, she's had a, an amazing career. Her and Deanna, I think, both made the Olympic final. I could be wrong, but they're both returning Olympians for sure. So mm -hmm. it's it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out with her, with both of their experience at the Olympics and at the World Championships. Um, and I just want to see, I, I would love to see her make that top three, make that podium. Yeah. Now heading into the men's hammer, I've got a little bit more. I, I've got to admit, I think the three guys from the U.S., Rudy, uh, Alex Young, and Danny Hall, are probably my favorite throwers. Like as a team, I, they're like my favorite team that's going to Tokyo. Um, and I just, I believe Rudy's going to win the Olympics. I'm making that bold statement right now. I believe Rudy Winkler is going to win the Olympics, and I would love to see Hall or Young come in and get a medal. Um, mm -hmm. I think they're all. I think all three of them are capable of making the final, and I I think they're all 78 meter guys that that could compete really really well when they're there. I think they're they're they've all matured drastically since 2019. You know they've all been professional now for the last couple of years, and I think that. I think now's the time to see that passing of the guard from Europe to the United States as far as the hammer is concerned. But the problem is, you got Fajak in there um, and, and the Wiki from Poland. So both of those guys are absolute phenoms and they're, they're consistent, they're good athletes. And they've got that, that good experience um, mm -hmm. at the international stage. So yeah. my prediction will be Rudy wins it, Fajak comes in second. Hmm. Who could we put in there at number three? Danny Hall. Think he can go 80? What do you think will 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 take it? We'll I actually think like a uh, like a 79-30 will be third yeah. place. Yeah. I think I think it's not going to be enormous know, as yeah. deep as the as the ranking. I think Rudy's going to throw 81-90. 81-90 to win it. Yeah. All right. That's my prediction. So, stay tuned. I think this competition is going to be awesome. Again. I'm biased here. I think Alex Young is probably my favorite, um, one of my favorite throwers. Rudy is one of my favorite throwers. As a team, Rudy, Danny, and Alex are my favorite team going to Tokyo. Uh, I just think they're the coolest dudes on the planet. And, and with the Americans, I'd love to see Gwen Berry podium. I'd love to see, I think Deanna is going to win it. Um, and it's going to be fun watching, sitting back, watching, and seeing how they, they, they come into play. And I know Rudy got a business class seat on his flight because I talked to him yesterday. So he's going to be so comfortable. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flying on that 14-hour flight over to Tokyo. <laughs> so stay tuned. Check us out on Instagram while we are over in Tokyo getting behind-the-scenes footage. And pay attention. Learn from the best. Learn from what Rudy Winkler's done, what Alex Young has done, what Danny Hall has done, what Deanna Price, Gwen Berry, Brooke Anderson, all of these phenomenal throwers, Maggie Malone, how they've built up. Um, 
And also shout out to the men's team for javelin, Curtis Thompson uh, and Michael Shuey making the the Olympic team too. Congrats to them. Yeah. I want to. I would love to see those guys throw 82 to 84 while they're over there and and see if they could snipe a couple people because I think that would put them into the final. Yeah. So until next time, guys. Peace.